What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight, tonight, okay, making their debut on the channel tonight, tonight, we have Virgin Black. Yes, indeed. How about that? Virgin Black making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Brian Savino, and this is actually Brian's prioritized request for the month of November for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page, so, here you go, Brian. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, Brian wanted to see me react to this. It is Virgin Black with a song called Our Wings Are Burning. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute. Hang on, I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Virgin Black Official. Okay. And the video has 16,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Virgin Black, our wings are burning official video. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! There's that word official, official video coming off of their official page. Um, yeah. <laughs> Look, you know what I'm gonna say, so I, I'm not gonna say it. Let's just. Let's just say that we're gonna have to wait and see what happens and we're gonna have to hope for the best. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. There's a certain beauty from a song like this. Very melancholy beauty. Um, the piano playing sounds nice. The drum pattern sounds nice. I like the, I like the, uh, I like the rims. Uh, the, uh, not, not rim shots. What do they call it? When they put the stick, they lay the back end of the stick like, not exactly in the middle of the drum, but they, not the snare, but they lead it more toward the, like about two thirds of the way from the center of the drum, and they they just tap the the top of the stick on top of the rim. Not rim shots, something else. 
forgot what they're called. I, you, it, I, I, I know what it's called. It's just that it, the word is escaping my mind right now. Like I, I can't, I can't grab. It. It's not rim shots. Uh, but cross sticking, cross sticking, cross sticking. I like the cross sticking patterns. Uh, that the drummers got going. I like that with the ride. Really nice. Um, piano playing sounds good. Very fitting for the style of song. Vocals kind of remind me of uh, Gregorian chant, just ever so slightly with the approach. Um, very fitting. Very fitting. Now, everything's lining up. Everything sounds good. Uh, having said all that, I'm not digging it. <laughs> I'm just not digging this. It is... It's too ballady for my taste, man. It's too it's too laid back. It's too melancholy. It's too um it's too chill for me. I, I like more upbeat, faster, more intense songs. This is not up my alley at all. But like I said, it doesn't have to be up my alley for me to say that it's a it's a good song. And I mean, like I said, I I haven't said anything bad. I don't hear anything bad. I don't. I mean, it sounds like a good song. It's just not up my alley. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's see how this goes. So they kicked it up. Uh, guitars kicked in. I like the fact that they kicked the guitars in. I am not thrilled with the guitar tone. The guitar tone is really bitey. It's really harsh sounding. I wish they would uh, smooth that out. Maybe take some of the high end off. Um, put a little more mids in there. A little more low end in there. Get it to get a little thicker, a little crunchier. Not quite so bitey not quite so harsh it's like taking a shot at jack daniels you know sour mash number you know the old old number seven right it's like taking a shot of that when you have no prep whatsoever just dry mouth you know no water intake just here's a shot knock it back boom ha ha oh you know it it mellows out after a while but Man, when you take that, when you take it down the first time, boy, oh, on an empty, oh, and on an empty stomach to boot, yeah, woo, it, it's like that. It's really bitey. It's really harsh. But I mean, I, I like, I like where it's going. I just wish they would mess with the guitar tone a little bit. Uh, vocally, I don't know if you guys heard what I said. His his falsetto is smooth. I will absolutely give him credit on that. When he went up into the falsetto range, uh, his vocal smoothed out really nicely. Um, I think I like, I can't believe we're going to say this, I think I like his falsetto better than I like his lower register voice. His falsetto is actually pretty nice. Uh, the drumming, yeah, I, I gotta be honest with you folks, I think the drumming is the highlight of the show. I like the, I like what the drum's coming up with, um, between, uh, the cross sticking pattern on the ride, going, leaving out everything but the ride, and that little ride pattern he came up with. And then when everybody kicked in, he adjusted his style to fit, you know, the context of what's happening with everyone else. Really nice. 
really nice. Great job on the drummer. Um, let's let's keep going here. Oh, please tell me that's how they end. I like that ending. I like the ending a lot, actually, with the fade out. With the keyboard and that relaxed drum feel. I like that. Good ending. Smart ending. Um. Okay. I have some thoughts. Not a lot, but I, ha I do have a couple of things to talk about. So let me, let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. So let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Virgin Black with Our Wings Are Burning. This was a request from Brian Savino. And this was actually Brian's prioritized request for the month of November for being a Silver Tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, Brian. I hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, You know what? Let's, let's just get to the score, and then I'll, then I'll say everything I want to say. On a scale of 1 to 10... I'm going to give that a 7.2. Yep, 7.2. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, first things first. I've never even heard of Virgin Black before. Uh, this is one of those bands that I didn't even know existed until today. Um... I don't know if they're a big band. I don't know if they're a popular band. I don't know if they're an underground band. I don't know if they're an unsigned act. I don't know if they're independent. I don't know if they're signed with a major record label. I don't know if they're, you know, I don't know what kind of success they've had, if any. I I, I don't I don't know anything about this band. Uh, so I'm kind of gonna shoot from the hip here. And I'm gonna be making, unfortunately, I'm gonna be making a lot of assumptions. Now, are my assumptions gonna be correct? Maybe. Possibly. Then again, I might be completely off. I, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. We're going to just have to wait and see how this goes. Um, I don't know if they're a main act. I, I don't know if they're a, a headlining act. I don't know if they're a huge name. They seem like they're independent to me. It seems to be like they're not signed with any major record label. Number one, good for them. <laughs> don't fall into that trap of signing with record labels because they're going to throw... You know, hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars at you. Don't do it because they're going to take everything away from you. They're going to take your publishing. They're going to take your licensing. They're going to take your distribution. They're going to take all of your rights. 
and you're going to become a commodity. Uh, you really don't want to do that. Unless, unless you don't care about those things. I think you're nuts if you don't. I, I, I really do think you're nuts if you don't worry about those, those three things in particular. Um, anyway, this sounds indie. It sounds independent. Uh, it sounds like he was, it was probably mixed at home. Like, I don't even think this was even recorded in a, in a, in a professional recording studio, professional recording studio. This sounds like it was recorded in someone's house. Now, here's the thing with Pro Tools, the way it is, as long as you're willing to pay for it, you know, if, if you're willing to, you know, shell out the money for, for Pro Tools and more importantly, all the equipment that goes with it, the more equipment that you have that goes with it, the more options you have and the more ability that you have to create a professional sounding, you know, recording. Um, it sounds, okay, does it sound like it was recorded in someone's home? Yes, but it sounds really good for a home recording. So whoever engineered this, I'm sure one of the band members did. Whoever engineered this did a really nice job of engineering it though. Uh, great compression rates, uh, great compression levels, noise gating, noise canceling, sounds clean. Uh, they did a great job cleaning up, gating it, um, normalizing. I mean, it all, it all sounds well done. So whoever did mix this, really nice job. As far as the song itself goes, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'm not a huge fan of it on a personal level. Um, it's just really not my cup of tea. Uh, but having said that, I still think it's a really good song. Remember guys, I look at songs objectively as best I can. I, I, I try to keep my own personal feelings out of it as much as I possibly can. Of course I'm human and I, you know, it things happen, but Looking at a song like this objectively, taking my personal feelings out of it, 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 it's a really good song. It is. Some great dynamic usage, very strategic placement of dynamic changes. Whether it be an increase in volume or a decrease in volume, it was always done in a well thought out manner. Um, changing the feel of the song, bringing in the guitars at the, at the appropriate places, I really like how they set that up too, with the drummer doing that, uh, just everything out and just the ride. Ding, 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 ding you know, ding, ding, ding. You know, just eights and quarter notes on the, it wasn't even 16, so it was just eight and quarter notes on the ride. Uh, really nice job on that, setting it up so when everybody came in, it was as effective as possible. Uh, speaking of the guitars, I like what the guitars were playing. It was very fitting for the style of the song. Just chords, chords, sustained chords, very legato playing. I, I think that was very appropriate. Uh, the only thing I wasn't a fan of on the guitars was the guitar tone. It sounded really harsh. It sounded really bitey. Um, and I, I, I wish they would take their guitar tone and smooth it out a little bit. Take some of the edge off of the top. Give it a little more bottom. Give it a little more mid. Give it that thick, crunchy tone. I think they would have a lot more uh, of a pleasing sound if they did that. Because what they did, man, it, it was what they were playing was fine. It's just their their tone was very, very harsh, <laughs> very harsh and very bitey. Uh, the bass. I could actually hear the bass. It sounded good. Uh, I, I personally would like a little more attack on the bass. Uh, that's just me, but what he was playing sounded good. Again, very conducive to the song. The drumming, in my opinion, was the highlight. I liked what the drummer was doing. Everything he did made sense. I love the cross-sticking pattern he came up with, uh, with the ride and, and the cross-sticking on the snare with the kick. It literally was just those three things for the most part. Every once in a while, he would do a fill with, with, with the toms, but for the most part, it was just kick, snare, and ride, which I really appreciated. Uh, it fit and was conducive to the style of song and he played very intelligently there really wasn't anything he did with this plan that i would want to change everything there was fantastic vocally surprisingly i i i, I kind of like the vocals um the low register stuff was good don't get me wrong the, the lower register stuff it sounded good it was conducive for the style of the song i compared it stylistically to like gregorian chant but in English, obviously, and not Latin. Uh, but he, uh, but with that, that, the tone and the open throat and the singing from the back of the throat, 
uh, you know, top of the head through a head voice type of type of style in that lower register, getting some nice resonance. Um, surprisingly, though, my favorite part was when he went up into the falsetto, when he went up in the upper register. Smooth, smooth falsetto. I, I gotta say, um, this guy knows how to utilize falsetto without question. Um, yeah, overall, I think the song is really good. I, I, I was getting shades of typo negative. I was getting shades of King Diamond. Uh, yeah, <laughs> represent. Uh, I was getting shades of, uh, even to some extent, I was getting shades of the Smiths and the Cure to some extent. Not totally going there, but a but little bit. But I mean, I, I was getting a lot of those shades of those styles of bands and a nice blend of them. Now, overall, it, it's a really good song. It is a really good song. I I have no issue with the song as a whole. There are a couple of things I'd like to see them, you know, change up a bit. But overall, I got no issue with it. Now, here's the thing. Because <laughs> I know people have tried to do this on, on the channel in the past. And people have asked me to do a reaction to their band or their their performance or their song and i've done it i i've absolutely done it when it's done through the right channels i'm going to mention a name here crooked spine he gave me a few of his songs to react to when the channel was starting out and he went through the proper channels he made them official requests i added them to the queue when i got to them in the queue i reacted to them playing and simple i cannot tell you how many bands and record labels i have had approach me and you know say we would love it if you reacted i'm like there's a process you know you go on the patreon page you make an official request and then their response is always especially once the record labels well we're not going to pay money for it well then you obviously don't want me to react to it that badly do you you know you can wait until we go back to free requests when there's no queue but until that day comes <laughs> there is a queue and there is a process i make it fair and equitable across the board for everybody and I make no exceptions, okay? Brian Savino, I don't know if he's a member of the band or not. I, I don't I don't know. Maybe he is. And maybe this is his band. Listen, he went through the right channels. He made an official request. He even went as far as to prioritize it as a silver tier member. So of course I'm gonna react to it. Of course I am. Is it his band? I don't know. <laughs> maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I have no clue. I'd actually rather not know. I, I would rather not know. That way I won't feel any uh, any type of persuasion either way. I'd rather be completely, you know, in in the dark on that type of a thing. Now, if you want to let me know it's your band, okay, fine. Then go ahead. It, will it change my opinion? No. <laughs> but uh, I, I, maybe it's his band, maybe it isn't. All I know is I've never heard of Virgin Black until today. Um... Would I like to listen to more of them? I don't know. Maybe, uh, possibly. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be opposed to it. It's not bad. It's not up my. It's not up my alley. It's not blowing my skirt up. But at the same time, I have no reason not to listen to it. So, if hypothetically, Brian, this is your band, and hypothetically, Brian, uh, if you would like me to react to more songs by your band, no problem. You know, just. Go through the proper channels and I will be more than happy to do it for you. And that goes for everybody. You don't have to be a silver or gold tier member either. You, you don't have to be on the silver or gold tier. You can just be on the bronze tier and put it in the queue and I will get to it. I promise. Okay. But guys, if you want me to react to your band, if you want me to react to your song, I have no problem doing it. Just please go through the proper channels. Okay. Seriously. Don't try to guilt me into it. It won't work. Don't try to bully me into it. It won't work, all right? Don't try to bribe me into it with other things other than going through the proper channels because, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it won't work. My integrity is not for sale. So, 7.2, I feel really good about that score. I do feel it is a really good song at the end of the day, and uh, that is where we're going to stay. So, 7.2, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. 
If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.